Titans final. And we are underway here in the A final live from Utah at Soldier Hollow. It's going to be a great one. The cowbells are ringing out down here where you can feel the excitement of the crowd as they head up that first hill. Looking good right now from our vantage point. Yep, once again, uh, pretty much together here as they come up to the top of the first hill. Once again, three Norwegians, two Swedes, and a German. Peter and Peter, always amazing to me that at the end of a full day of racing and a fourth race, these women have such power and ability to continue and sustain what they need to do to get around this 1.3K. I'm always a fan, I have to tell you that, and to see it, especially at the end of a day like this, to me is incredibly impressive. Each of these athletes just doing tremendous work out there and deserving of our congratulations. Oh, very good point. Uh, obviously, all the hours that are put into this, oftentimes just alone on the sweat-filled days of summer and fall. And this is what it's all about. And so the Swedish athlete now looking tremendous. And this is Anna Dyvik. Dyvik still in the front. Two Norwegians right behind her. Clouding over a little bit here as the late afternoon shadows begin to fall. Look at Divik and that tempo right there, Pete. Yeah, she is uh, putting the hammer down here. And uh, she makes it up this hill in, in good shape. I think we'll, we'll see our gold medal winner here. But the Norwegians are not going to allow this just to let her go away here. But she is reaching the top. She is around the quarter here with a very nice lead and headed toward the finish line and maybe that gold medal. Look at the spacing she's got. Looking very, very good now for Divik of Fallen. On the podium, as we said earlier, in a World Cup relay in La Clusa just before Christmas. She had a gold at the Junior World Championships in 2014, and look at this. Look at this. Well, will there be a battle for that bronze, the silver and bronze medal? We'll find out, but here comes the Swedish athlete, and she's looking good. Yes, she is. Anna Divik uh, still out in front with a very, very comfortable lead, obviously enhanced by that fall, but she had this race. Anyway, she looks really good. She looks behind. She knows this is hers. She's got a smile on her face right now. Striding as Anna Divik out of Sweden. Now let's look at that silver platform in three, trying to hold on. That's Tia Marud, and she'll take that silver, and that is Maya Dahlquist out of Sweden. will come across for the bronze, as well as Louise Heimdall out of Norway across that line. You hate to see a fall like that. They were working at such high levels of competition it does happen we all know it's part of the sport let's make sure these athletes hear our appreciation as they come into this final stretch they've given it everything here and they were a, a force in this race to be sure sophie krell out of germany with a nice stride 